Well, I personally have been involved in this for 17 years. Uh, the, the experience uh, of seeing patients with different procedures and different techniques and different technologies uh, is, is good for the future and good for the patient because we know how people react to uh, previous technologies and then as we make improvements we can make that result that much better. The, the fact is, is that laser, laser vision correction and LASIK has never been safer. Uh, we have the Intralace now which is a device uh, uh, for making the flap of the cornea. It is a, a laser device, it's very, very precise, and it's really taken some of the concerns and some of the potential complications out of the procedure to the point where we don't really have to worry about this much anymore. When I see the patients uh, come in literally unable to see past the end of their nose in some cases and uh, really uh, handicapped with their vision uh, correction uh, and being able to do this procedure and allow them to see uh, better than they've ever seen or uh, able to see as they did when they were a child is most gratifying and so when I wake up in the morning uh, I'm excited to come to work because I know that we're doing some great things for people and allowing uh, them to see better and restore their vision. Contacts are in the garbage. My glasses are still in my drawer. I don't know why. I just haven't thrown them away yet but um, oh yeah it's still a habit. I feel like I have my contacts but even better contacts because I didn't see this well with my contacts on. So it's still a habit to try to go take them out every night. As soon as he finished closing the flaps on my eyes I looked up and there's a clock all the way on the other side of the room. It's this little tiny clock, which I didn't even know was in the room. And it was uh, 15 past 3 when I was done with my surgery. It's the first thing I saw. I could see clear as day.